Is this DJI Avada still any good as a drone for beginners in FPV in 2024? Well, I'm a beginner, so let's find out. G'day superstars, this DJI Avada has been out for about 18 months now and it's took the world by storm as being a good beginner FPV drone. It does about 96 kilometers an hour. And apparently with the flight controller and the Integra goggles, these things are really easy to fly. I've had this for about a week and a half. Haven't flown it yet, but I have set it up, got it ready to go, and I have powered it up so I know that it works, but I haven't actually flown it. So I'm going to do a test flight of a little obstacle course I've set up in my house, and then we'll take it outside and see how well it performs. Now I just want to clarify before I get into this, I have never flown an FPV drone before in my life. I've flown many drones, I fly a drone for my job all the time, but it's a Mavic 2 Pro. I've never flown an FPV drone, never used one of these, so I can't wait to actually put on the goggles and give it a shot. All right, let's turn all this stuff on. The drones are just down here. I've got a camera set up over there, which see a small obstacle course I've created. And let's see if I can not smash this thing. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna set up my settings. Seems I'm recording. I'm going to see what the drone sees as well as what you're doing here. Now I just have to turn it on. I don't know how to do that. Here we go. Right. Oh, yeah, I see. Turn it like that, turn it like that. You can follow that dot, I guess. I'm so going to smash this thing. Cool, it's actually pretty easy. I now for the hard bit. And here. How to get used to that turning. Mind my dishes. Whoop! <laughs> Thank God for those propeller guards, eh? Hey? Try that again. Down a bit. Up a bit. Go straight through that thing now. Whew. Oh, the cup's falling off somewhere. That's better. <laughs> now, how do I land it? All right, that was pretty cool. This thing's really intuitive. I quite like it. Um, actually pretty impressed with that. Let's take it outside. Okay, now I've got the drone outside. I'm still sitting in here. Um, I'm going to just fly it around the street a little bit and see how it behaves. But uh, we'll see how we go, eh? Hey? Let's get that recording started again. Okay. Let's see how quick she can go. Ooh. She's as 
fast. Can't even see my street from here. That's got a little H on the menu, is that handy? It's really hard to get used to this controller, but I suppose once you get used to it, it gets much easier. Hope no cars come along. Better up your hiring because I go around the corner just in case someone comes around the corner. We're getting a little bit of transmission issue here. That's interesting. I've lost connectivity. See if I go outside if that'll help. Look at that. That was weird. Let's turn around and come back a bit. I'm just walking into the wall. Gonna start to hear it now. She pulls up quick. I think I'll land it. As you can see, the DJI Avada is actually a pretty decent drone to have in your kit, especially when you're starting out with FPV. I personally got this one because I wanted to be able to fly indoors as well as outdoors. Um, I intend to use it for real estate, so I'd like to fly it through a house and then out the back and so on. So that's why I got the smaller one. I didn't want to get a bigger FPV because of the fact that it would just blow all dust and paper and everything all over the place. But my flying skills aside, because they suck, this drone is still pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed by it. It's quick, it's responsive, and it does everything it's supposed to do. So in 2024, would I buy one of these? Yes, I would. I did. But I'll do it again in a year even because this thing is just so much fun to use. And while we're on the subject of drones, there are so many accessories and add-ons you can buy for your DJI drones. I've done a video here explaining just that. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.